But this is your reading, and I'm Susie from the Book of Tarot Tips Collective. This is your reading for the week of the 7th to the 13th of February for Sagittarius, 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 Sagittarius. Week of the 7th for Sagittarius, 7th of Feb for the Sagittarius, Angels, Spirit Guides, Universe. What would you like to tell Sagittarius what's in store for Sagittarius for the week of the 7th to the 13th of February? Wow. Nine of Cups. Ooh, wow. Angels, spirit guides. What would you like? Sagittarius to know about the week of the 13th of February. 7th of February. Week of 7th of February. Week of 7th, 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 7th. 7th to the 13th of February. That's a massively huge amount of cards. Um... Well, they've given me these many cards. One, two, three. Okay, right, so first two cards Nine of Cups, Page of Cups. A wish comes true, a union. Um, you feel blessed. You're taking your time out to really fall in love with yourself. You could have had a wish come true. There's the star as well. I mean, you can't get better than that with the Empress and the Lovers. Something spectacular is about to happen, Sagittarius. Um, the Empress is here, could be the mother figure, the twin flame. They're seeing you as a star. It's a hopeful wish come true. Um, you're looking at yourself, you're getting much fit for this, whatever this is. Uh, the Lovers are here. There's a decision in love being made. Um, you're terminating and ending something with someone. You could go onto a battlefield. Please don't say stuff you can't unsay if you don't want to burn a bridge. Um, you have the page of wands here who wants to jump into the unknown. After this ending, this termination, you don't care where you go. Um, but you're going to take action on love. There's this fire sign, which is your energy. You're really loving yourself. Like really, you you admire the fact you're a leader. You look handsome, beautiful. This could be a male coming in uh, to offer some action, some passion. It's coupled with the emperor, the father figure, or the twin flame. He embodies all, is the boss. Um, there could be an ending. There's a death card here with the emperor and patience um could be dealing with an aries and a scorpio um there's a lot of fire here there's a lot of passion here it's like you're moving towards something very passionate you don't care what it is as long as it's got action right so there is you want passion you want to take action someone wants to take action with you you could see this person as, as the boss you're putting an end to something um, that is, was taking too long. Um, it could be with one of these people, like this, this fire sign, well, both fire signs, but this older person. It's just, you need to put an end to something to, to because you've been too patient with it. This took too long. Um, could be a Sagittarius. It's, it's your element, temperance. It's your inner element. Even if you end something, you're still in your element. It's like you're being flamboyant this week and saying, right, I'm walking away now. I've done enough. I'm going. It's like that. I'm out. Because you're the star. Um, you terminate something because there's love here. There's, there's joy. There's abundance. There's choice. Um, you're, not, it, you're going onto a battlefield where no one wins with this. That's what I said. If you want to end something with someone, just do it politely. Something may need to be argued out that you never see this person again. But you are jumping headfirst into something passionate, into something that's overseen by a boss. Um, but something completely is ending. and tr it's, it's a transformation so that something can alchemize in the ether and come down to fruition. It's almost like nothing was coming solid uh, to fruition. So you're walking away from some kind of one path onto a new path 
to make something come real um, and you're stopping on this crossroads manifesting what path you want to go down there's an inheritance there's money there's a, a solidity a security within this in one of these paths there's money in it there's family in it there's victory in it it's a journey um, there's an offer of something like a ticket or something like that is offered to you which is out of the blue it could be a gift it could be a ring you're no longer a pawn in a game there's a balance and a justification here it could be over a home over a gift that's given to you this like justice the money involved the security could be a capricorn and but there's an emotional confusion with it it's a lot said terrace i I, don't, I wouldn't mind being you this week because there's, there's transformations going on. Things have to end. You have to get fit. You have to take action. Um, boss up. Um, be in your element. Uh, put an end to things. Transform. Manifest what you really want. Um, there's an inheritance here. There's money. There's security. There's victory. There's movement. There's travel. Something out of the blue. If you know, you could be offered a new car or while you're traveling, something could cancel that out, but it's justified. Or you hear news of a tax rebate or you hear news that um, victory has, has come towards you and this king of pentacles wants to invest in you. Um, could be either a Capricorn or a Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, but this is the, the, the Cancer or Scorpio card, even. There's a, it's mystical. There's something mysterious at the end of this week. Because so much is going on, it will be very emotional and confusing. Okay, it's like, how did, how did that happen? I manifested that ages ago. How come it turned up? There's someone outside my door. They're knocking on the door. What do I do? They're holding a ring in their hand. What do I do? This is out of the blue. You know, it, but it's it's fair. It's just, it could be something goes legal in your favour. And this, this King of Pentacles comes in to emotionally confuse you. He might have a secret to tell you. It's, it's just, the end of this week, it's just condensed. All I can say, Sagittarius. Condensed. I'm having to go quickly. I do have the two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. But that depends whether that's the eight of wands, it's travel, or whether it's your stop your juggling. Could be both. <laughs> I can't know which is the bottom. Um gosh. The Empress doesn't move. You could be going towards a mother figure, there could be a pregnancy. Um someone's deciding. To, to leave something or somebody. Um, it, I, mean, I think it's you jumping into your element, falling in love with the leadership, being a boss, um, not being overseen by maybe a Scorpio. You need to be very patient. Could be the September card, you might have got someone pregnant or you're pregnant um, and you're walking away to a new path. This is the transformation, having a baby. You've got to decide at this crossroads. You can make things go up or down, you're very manifestational. So as soon as you walk away from doing too much, you start like waving this magic wand about and you get like a win on the lotto or you get this travel, this journey where you're pulling in your balance. You're, it's all about this, it's all about balance. It's all about balance and feeling secure, monetary. Maybe you leave home because you get this gift of a new home or you're traveling somewhere. Let me ask the romance angels what they'd like Sagittarius to know. It's a lot, Sagittarius. Angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like Sagittarius to know? But the, you go back to the first two cards. This is a wish come true and you need to get match fit for it. You need to get healthy for this wish coming true. You're going to want to, to do that. Angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like Sagittarius to know about the week of the 7th of February? Oh, it's the week of the 7th of February for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what would you like them to know? Okay, the first two out are engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. 
You have heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like? Sagittarius to know. Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius to know? Sagittarius. Getting to know each other, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens and attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I still see this five of swords. I can't unsee the five. I don't like the five. This is a five where you go back to a relationship the second time and it ends worse. So if you don't want to burn a bridge, keep your mouth tightly zipped, skill cat. Sagittarius, sorry. Let's ask the angels what they would like. There's definitely attraction here. Engagement, getting to know each other, um, heart to heart conversations, angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like Sagittarius to know about the week of the seventh? of February, week of the 7th of February, Sagittarius. Please, God, don't let it run out again. Okay, so we've got counsellor. You are a natural counsellor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. No conditions aren't favourable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angel to help you guide and comfort you. Moon cycles. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalise upon these cycles. Right. It could be that a journey, just your, halfway through the journey, it gets cut off like the, the towers here. Just this new beginning gets out of the blue, gets cancelled. Or there's something legal about, about this uh, with this Capricorn that, that is about to confuse you. Okay, but um, it's emotional. It could be a divorce or something like that. There's something where something might get cancelled, but don't worry about it. It's just the, the, the phases of the moon. And you need to express, like, have conversations, uh, get to know someone. Um, I'll just see you wanting to jump into the unknown and take action and be, be warrior-like and be boss-like and but there's something that needs to, or is ending. And maybe you need to go away to get over that ending. But you're going to manifest money. You're going to manifest victory. You're going to manifest a gift, justice. But it could all get too confusing. <laughs> so you have to, and it's the moon again. It's, it's this moon cycle. Notice if that full moon comes in, you've got to end something. Someone might be a star sign of a cancer, so they get very emotional under that full moon. It's just, it's a phase, what I'm trying to say. If it, you get confused, it's just a phase. It takes the month of the moon to get clarified. So um, take care, Sagittarius, and I will speak to you soon. Please like, share, and subscribe. And watch my dailies. I'm doing the TikTok dailies and sharing them all over the place. Um, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.